In quantum physics, reg theory is the study of the analytic properties of scattering as a function of angular momentum, where the angular momentum is not restricted to be an integer multiple of h but is allowed to take any complex value. The non-relativistic theory was developed by Tullio Reg in 1959. Details <laughs> 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 The simplest example of reg poles is provided by the quantum mechanical treatment of the Coulomb potential V R equals minus E two four Pi E zero R Display style v R equals E carrot two four Pi epsilon underscore zero R or, phrased differently, by the quantum mechanical treatment of the binding or scattering of an electron of mass m and electric charge minus e off a proton of mass m and charge plus e display style plus e the energy e display style e of the binding of the electron to the proton is negative whereas for scattering the energy is positive the formula for the binding energy is the well known expression e e n equals minus 2 m Pi two E four H two N two four Pi E zero two equals minus thirteen point six E V N two M equals M M M plus M Display style E right arrow E underscore N equals frac two meters pi carrot two E carrot four H carrot two N carrot two four pi epsilon underscore zero carrot two equals frac thirteen point six electron volts N carrot two M carrot equals frac M M M plus M where N equals one two Three display style n equals one two three h display style h is the Planck constant and e zero display style epsilon underscore zero is the permittivity of the vacuum. The principal quantum number n display style n is in quantum mechanics by solution of the radial Schrödinger equation found to be given by n equals n plus l plus 1 display style n equals n plus l plus 1 where n equals 0 1 2 display style n equals 0 1 2 is the radial quantum number and l equals 0 1 2 3 display style l equals 0 1 2 3 the quantum number of the orbital angular momentum solving the above equation for L display style L one obtains the equation L L e equals minus n plus G 
e g e equals minus 1 plus i pi e 2 4 pi e 0 h 2 m e 1 2 Display style L right arrow L E equals N plus G E G E equals minus one plus I frac pi E carrot two four pi epsilon underscore zero H two meters E carrot one half Considered as a complex function of E Display style E This expression describes in the complex L Display style L planar path which is called a reg trajectory. Thus in this consideration the orbital momentum can assume complex values. Reg trajectories can be obtained for many other potentials, in particular also for the Yukawa potential. Reg trajectories appear as poles of the scattering amplitude or in the related S matrix. In the case of the Coulomb potential considered above this S display style S matrix is given by the following expression as can be checked by reference to any textbook on quantum mechanics S equals gamma L minus G E gamma L plus G E E minus I Pi L Display style S equals frac gamma L G E gamma L plus G E E carrot I Pi L where gamma X Display style gamma X is the gamma function a generalization of factorial x minus 1 display style x1 this gamma function is a meromorphic function of its argument with simple poles at x equals minus n n equals 0 1 2 display style x equals n n equals 0 1 2 thus the expression for s display style s the gamma function in the numerator possesses poles at precisely those points which are given by the above expression for the reg trajectories hence the name reg poles topic History and implications The main result of the theory is that the scattering amplitude for potential scattering grows as a function of the cosine z are the scattering angle as a power that changes as the scattering energy changes a z z l e Two display style a z propto z carrot l e carrot two where l e two display style l e carrot two is the non-integer value of the angular momentum of a would-be bound state with energy e display style e it is determined by solving the radial Schrödinger equation and it smoothly interpolates the energy of wave functions with different angular momentum but with the same radial excitation number. The trajectory function is a function of S equals E 2 display style S equals E caret 2 for relativistic generalization. The expression L S display style L S 
is known as the reg trajectory function, and when it is an integer, the particles form an actual bound state with this angular momentum. The asymptotic form applies when z z is much greater than 1, which is not a physical limit in non-relativistic scattering. Shortly afterwards, Stanley Mandelstam noted that in relativity the purely formal limit of z z large is near to a physical limit the limit of large t display style t large t display style t means large energy in the crossed channel where one of the incoming particles has an energy momentum that makes it an energetic outgoing antiparticle this observation turned reg theory from a mathematical curiosity into a physical theory. It demands that the function that determines the fall off rate of the scattering amplitude for particle particle scattering at large energies is the same as the function that determines the bound state energies for a particle antiparticle system as a function of angular momentum. The switch required swapping the Mandelstam variable S display style S which is the square of the energy for t display style t which is the squared momentum transfer which for elastic soft collisions of identical particles is s times 1 minus the cosine of the scattering angle the relation in the cross channel becomes a z s l t Display style a z propto s caret l t, which says that the amplitude has a different power law fall off as a function of energy at different corresponding angles, where corresponding angles are those with the same value of t. Display style t. It predicts that the function that determines the power law is the same function that interpolates the energies where the resonances appear. The range of angles where scattering can be productively described by reg theory shrinks into a narrow cone around the beam line at large energies. In 1960 Jeffrey Chu and Stephen Frouchy conjectured from limited data that the strongly interacting particles had a very simple dependence of the squared mass on the angular momentum, the particles fall into families where the reg trajectory functions were straight lines L S equals K S display style L S equals K's with the same constant K display style K for all the trajectories. The straight line reg trajectories were later understood as arising from massless endpoints on rotating relativistic strings. Since a reg description implied that the particles were bound states, Chu and Frouchy concluded that none of the strongly interacting particles were elementary. Experimentally, the near-beam behavior of scattering did fall off with angle as explained by reg theory, leading many to accept that the particles in the strong interactions were composite. Much of the scattering was diffractive, meaning that the particles hardly scatter at all, staying close to the beam line after the collision. Vladimir Gribov noted that the Froissart bound combined with the assumption of maximum possible scattering implied there was a reg trajectory that would lead to logarithmically rising cross-sections, a trajectory nowadays known as the Pomeron. He went on to formulate a quantitative perturbation theory for near-beam line scattering dominated by multi-Pomeron exchange. From the fundamental observation that hadrons are composite, there grew two points of view. Some correctly advocated that there were elementary particles, nowadays called quarks and gluons, which made a quantum field theory in which the hadrons were bound states. Others also correctly believed that it was possible to formulate a theory without elementary particles, where all the particles were bound states lying on reg trajectories and scatter self-consistently. This was called S-matrix theory. 
The most successful S matrix approach centered on the narrow resonance approximation, the idea that there is a consistent expansion starting from stable particles on straight line reg trajectories. After many false starts, Dolan Horn and Schmidt understood a crucial property that led Gabriel Veneziano to formulate a self consistent scattering amplitude, the first string theory. Mandelstam noted that the limit where the reg trajectories are straight is also the limit where the lifetime of the states is long. As a fundamental theory of strong interactions at high energies, reg theory enjoyed a period of interest in the 1960s, but it was largely succeeded by quantum chromodynamics. As a phenomenological theory, it is still an indispensable tool for understanding near beamline scattering and scattering at very large energies. Modern research focuses both on the connection to perturbation theory and to string theory. Topic: See also Faber-Jackson relation Quark-gluon plasma Dual resonance model <laughs>